Hey everyone, in this video, I'll show you how to create a stunning travel map animation using CapCut. Start by adding your map to the timeline. Next, go to the Text tab and select Default Text. In the basic options, type underscores repeatedly to create a line long enough to connect the two countries you're traveling between. Rotate and position the underscore line to connect the two countries on your map. We can also adjust the color as needed and choose curve. With your text layer selected, head over to Animations, choose in, and then select the Wipe Right animation. Increase the duration to 3 seconds for a smoother animation. Now, go to Stickers, search for a plane, and add a plane sticker to the timeline. Resize the plane and position it at the starting point of your journey on the map. Rotate it slightly upwards to fit the amplitude of the dotted line. Add a transform keyframe at the current position. Then move the plane to the destination country as the text animation ends. Now, you'll see it added keyframes automatically. Let's play the video. We can see the airplane not quite on the line. So, I'll jump to the middle and drag it directly here, holding shift so it doesn't deviate too much. Now, it's very close but slightly off the line. How do we make it stay on the line? Let's right-click the plane layer and choose Show Keyframe Animation. Double-click Y Attribute. Click the middle keyframe and select the Auto Curve. Adjust the curve. Now it stays near the dash line perfectly. Once done, right click and choose Hide Keyframe Animation. For added depth, duplicate the plane layer. Right-click, Create a Compound Clip. Slightly offset it. And decrease the opacity to 50% for a shadow effect, creating a more dynamic animation.
You can also enhance the video with sound effects. Go to Media Audio, click on Sound Effects, search for Plane. And drag your preferred music to the timeline. Trim the excess parts. Fade in and out the audio for a seamless effect. Now, let's play the video and see the final result. And there you have it. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.